Well, hello there, Scorpio. Hello and welcome. Welcome to Window to the Soul. Welcome to your Neptune retrograde. And can I just say a special hello to um, a lovely, lovely lady out there who has been uh, a friend of mine and a supporter of my endeavors, not just this channel, but other creative projects that I've worked on in the past, who sends me uh, little birthday gifts. She knows who she is. She is a Scorpio, so I know that she'll be watching here today. She's always been supportive, always been there, and I just want to say hi. <laughs> but Scorpio, this Neptune retrograde begins on June the 30th, and it's going to be in a fellow water sign, Pisces. But Pisces is, of course, mutable water, which is not necessarily your comfort zone being fixed water. And this, obviously, Neptune is the planet of Pisces as well. So it is like dreamy energy. Um, so definitely could have you up in your feels a little bit. This retrograde is going to last until December of this year. So this bonus reading is intended to last for roughly that time period. Now for you, Scorpio, this should be an extra creative transition for you. So it's kind of lovely energy for you in particular. I'd say embrace the energy. Let your talents shine and do not be afraid to share your creative vibe. Your theme for this transition, for the reading for this transition, is between worlds. So we could be torn a little bit. Be interesting to see how this this could speak of a little bit of grass is greener complex. It could speak of being torn between different groups, different people. It could be between, you know, like more of a war of the mind, head over heart, that kind of thing. We need to see if I can get my nails around these cards. We need to see what the tarot has to say about this. Now, Neptune is the planet of illusions. So when Neptune turns retrograde, that veil gets lifted. What was unseen becomes seen. What was not clear becomes oh so clear. Truth can be interesting and revealing, right? It can speak, Neptune can speak of those lies we tell ourselves, the ways in which we bury our heads in the sand. It can also speak of the lies that people literally tell us, but that's more your planet, Pluto, isn't it? But let's have a look at the energy that is around you right now that you, you can't quite see clearly, but you're about to. Nine of Swords, Mars in Gemini. This is something that potentially causes you nightmares or insomnia, something that's kind of on your mind. There's something playing on your mind. What is playing on your mind, Scorpio? The Ten of Pentacles, something to do with your home or your family, a family member, potentially. You are worried about a family member. That is definitely coming through very strongly for some of you. Let's see how this might play out. And the Knight of Swords. Okay. Right, so what I'm getting here is actually very, very clear. So I will not be offended for any of you whom this does not resonate with and, and feel that, you know, on this occasion, this is not for you. That's absolutely fine. Um, but so, for some of you, this has not happened yet. Um, so maybe you come back to this reading at a later date when, when more is revealed to you. Or maybe you just want to sit through it anyway. <laughs> Learn a bit of tarot. Who knows? I'm waffling. Very specific message. The specific message is this. You are going to be receiving news that is incredibly worrying about a family member. There's a, there's a million different contexts that could be in. We could be speaking about a health issue. We could be speaking about a mental issue. We could be speaking about some kind of family dynamic problem, whatever. However, that resonates for you. And I think initially you're not going to have all of the information. Potentially, if this isn't like a health issue, maybe it's a concern. Maybe it's just something that's a worry and, and it's pending on more tests or something along those lines. Or, or potentially 
whatever information you're receiving here has come from a third party. And so you, you haven't got all the information you need to sort of go to the horse's mouth, so to speak. And there is this energy of you feeling torn. Um, potentially maybe you're very busy, you know, maybe you have commitments and you have to work and you feel a bit torn, like you maybe want to help this person and support this person in some way or help the people around this person that needs some additional support, but maybe you feel that you're being stretched a little thin here. Let's get some more. This is going to be how the veil is going to be lifted. So how it is you're going to see this information. We've got the Ten of Swords. Not going to lie, this is a pretty brutal reading, Scorpio. But I always say the Scorpio can handle the intensity. This is Mercury and Gemini. Definitely got a lot of air energy. So potentially a lot of people with opinions, a lot of people saying things, maybe some contradicting information. Maybe it's not and, and, and it's it's muddying the waters, I, I feel. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. Here's a breath of fresh air. For, thank goodness for that. And the Empress. Beautiful. Somebody might be pregnant. Somebody might be pregnant. Maybe they thought they had some kind of health issues and they go to the doctor and come out pregnant. And it's like, oh, wow, okay. Um, which can be a stressful time, can be a difficult time, can be a challenging time. It's also a magical, wonderful, amazing, beautiful time for a lot of people. Um, somebody might be coming to you asking for financial support. I feel somebody is leaning on you for support here in some way. Hmm. I'm definitely getting the vibe here that for some of you, we would be dealing with somebody who sort of snubbed you a little bit. Somebody who has not necessarily been the best. Somebody who has, at the very least, given you cause to feel resentful. And this person is kind of coming to you cap in hand now. Maybe there is a little bit of humble pie. Maybe there isn't, and you feel there should be, right? Um, but yeah, I feel there's somebody that's potentially let you down in the past, now in a situation where they need some help and support. And I feel the reason why you're struggling to give this person the help and support that they A, need, and B, maybe requesting it's not because of this resentment. The resentment is there, but it's not because of that. It's not, it's not a vindictive, vengeful, revengey kind of thing at all. Um, I, I think you're literally very stretched. I think you're very stretched and stretched thin. So the perception may be that you're being a bit petty. It's, that's not what's happening. But this person may think, oh, well, you're just saying no because you're mad about blah, blah, blah. And, and it's not. You kind of have reason to be a bit angry, but I just don't see you being this petty at all. I, I think your reasons are genuine, but because this, I want to say beef, but that feels a bit much. It's not really beef. It's just like a, you, you never considered it beef, but it might be becoming beef because this person has decided that that's the reason why you're not supporting them. I hope this is making sense. Let's have a look at the third row. This is an honest conversation. So we've got the three of swords. Goodness me. You've got the nine of swords, the ten of swords, and the three of swords in your reading here. This is incredibly challenging energy. There's definitely some pain here. Ten of wands. So now we've got a ten and a ten and a ten. So we've got three tens on the table here. Ten of pentacles, which is Mercury and Virgo. The Ten of Swords, which is Mercury in Gemini, and the Ten of Wands, which is Saturn in Sagittarius. The only one that is not here <laughs> is the Ten of Cups, which is the really, really good one, right? Mars in Pisces. This is too much. This is too much of a burden. I love that central to your reading, you've got this beautiful breath of fresh air in the form of the Ace of Pentacles. Hope is here. And the Empress is 
obviously a, a gorgeous card, absolutely gorgeous, but it can be vain. It can be superficial. It can speak of there being too much emphasis on the material. And it can very much speaking of neglecting your own needs. I think somebody here has very, very specific expectations of you. And for you to fulfill those expectations, it would mean compromising yourself, potentially compromising your health. And I don't, you don't need me to tell you why that's not. Okay. I think you're very aware of why that's not okay. Potentially you've stretched yourself as far as you're possibly able to, but it, it it's damaging you to continue to give oxygen mask on first. Your own oxygen mask has to go on first. You know this. We've got the two of pentacles here. Yeah, this is juggling. This is juggling your priorities. This is juggling your responsibilities. This is multitasking. This is being busy. This is, it, it's chaotic energy. It's trying to keep all of the plates spinning and running around like an absolute lunatic, wearing yourself into the ground, absolutely physically exhausted, emotionally exhausted. You, there's only so much that you can give. And I feel what is being revealed to you during this retrograde is this sounds awful but this person's kind of taking the piss scorpio that's essentially what you're seeing you're like stepping back and going ah right i'm being used awesome good times good times and it's not a nice feeling it's not a nice feeling So why is the empress here? I think you're dealing with somebody here who's kind of good at spin. Ace of pentacles. Let's just have a sit back. So we've got Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Virgo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus and Libra. So there's nothing in particular in terms of the signs really massively jumping out. What about the planets? Mercury, Mercury, Saturn, Saturn. It's very restrictive energy of Saturn. Uh, Venus, Venus, two of each. Mercury, Venus and Saturn. I'm just trying to look for some kind of connective energy here. And it's too vague. The only thing that's really connecting is these tens. Obviously, tens are you reaching your limit. You reaching the, the point of, I cannot do this anymore. You're, you're, you're spreading yourself too thin, for sure. There is no real conclusion here. In the extended, we will try and push for some kind of resolution or some kind of conclusion, or at the very least, some advice, because we don't really even have any advice here, only to sit back and see, to, to acknowledge, to be aware that this is too much for you, Scorpio. That is where we're at in this reading, the important, the takeaway. Realize it, see it, recognize it. You know, that's most of the problem, isn't it, is knowing what the problem is. I'm going to finish up with a Moonology card um, for anybody not going over to the Extended today. The Extended, of course, is linked in the description as usual. Adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. Yeah, I think that's pretty safe to say. Um, there's definitely going to be some changes that need to be made coming in in the future. Some changes to how you manage your time and your energy and resources and where it is you're directing these things. This is a reading that demonstrates to me that you are rapidly approaching emotional and physical burnout because you're being too put upon, essentially. 
what you do with that is up to you. Again, in the extended, we'll see if we can push for some more clarity on that. Um, but good luck with this energy. I will be back with the July readings very soon. Remember, this is a much more spread out energy, whereas it feels like a very intense reading. It is going to be over a long period of time. So I think it'd be a slow burn. Um, so I wouldn't worry too much about, you know, collapsing tomorrow. Um, I think you're going to be given ample time to see the writing on the wall and make the necessary adjustments. I'll see some of you over in the extended and I will hopefully see the rest of you for the July, July readings. Take care.